Hey everyone. So what are we talking about today? Hmm. Let's see. Solutions. Spirit shows me the word, the solution. Okay, that's two words, but it's solutions. <laughs> Whatever. That's what spirit is showing me. Solutions. So, first, we have to figure out what the problem is. So we have to ask ourselves some very important questions. What part of my life needs help? What part of my life is stagnant and not moving forward? What part of my life is hurting me and keeping me back? Once you've asked yourself this question, then you should have an answer or two, maybe three or four, who knows? I don't know. Just depends. You should have at least one answer. What part of me needs help right now? What part of me needs healing? What part of me is experiencing the most turmoil, sadness, pain, anxiety? What part of me is experiencing that right now? Once you ask that question, then let's look at what we can do about it. What can we do? I think a lot of it can be cured with your beliefs. And what you allow yourself to believe about the world, about you, about your own progress, and about your relationships, and what you believe about yourself. A lot of that can be cured with just looking at those beliefs. Do you doubt yourself? Do you have enough confidence in what you are doing and where you're going? Do you believe in yourself? Do you love yourself? Hmm? What is it that you're holding on to? Because quite often when we're being held back in some area of our life, we are holding on to something that is keeping us from moving forward. So then you have to ask yourself, okay, what is it I'm holding on to? Whether it be some sort of behavior that is destructive, thoughts, that are just keeping you boxed in to one certain particular belief that is just not helpful whatsoever. What is it that you are not letting go of? Is it relationships that are just dead and gone? Is it a current relationship that is just toxic? and not good for you. Is it fear that holds you back? Fear is one of the big ones. Oh, well, we make up these things in our mind, you know, these fears that aren't really real. These fears hold us back from moving forward. Fear of love, fear of accomplishment. Can you believe that? Yeah. A lot of people are afraid. They're afraid to even try because they worry about failing. They think that, well, if I don't try it, then I don't have to worry about failing. The thing is, if you haven't tried it, you've already failed. You have to at least give it a try. Give it a go. If it's in your heart and soul to do something, then why not at least try it? All the great inventors. How many times do you think they failed? Huh, many. But they didn't quit. They didn't give up. They didn't give up until they accomplished 
what they were they set out to do so you need to be the inventor of your own life of your own happiness of your own success be the inventor don't fear failure and don't give up don't stop until you get it don't stop trying until you reach that goal and then of course you just keep going after that don't you we never stop never because once you have it once you've reached that goal you're there got to keep up that work to keep it going so what's holding you back today what part of your life is holding your you back when you ask yourself these important questions and you don't place the blame somewhere else don't blame society don't blame the government <laughs> don't blame your parents don't blame your ex you can only blame yourself you don't even need to do that blame isn't needed just let it go whatever it is let it go so that you can move forward and don't be afraid don't be afraid great things are going to come to you when you realize that you can whatever it is you can you can accomplish whatever you desire happiness freedom success love whatever it is you can have a great day everyone stay positive get outside and touch the earth cleanse your space and don't forget to do your meditations <laughs> one who meditates will find peace a lot sooner than someone who doesn't I'll tell you that right now hmm have a great day and remember that this raven and spirit we love you.